So hello everyone, we will take one more example of the NFA and we'll convert that to the DFA. So this is the language which is given. It says that uh, it contains the zero and the one symbols only as the alphabets and the length of the string is two. So the strings, those will be the part of this language. They will be AB, AA, AB, BA and BB. So this is a finite language. And uh, since it is a two length string, so the number of states that will be accepting this automata will be three. And the third state should be the final state. So if I get symbol A or B, at the start state, you should move to the next state. From the next state also, if you get another A and B, you should move to A or B, you should move to the final state. So let's mark the states A, B and C. This is a very simple, non-deterministic finite automata. If I have to convert this to the DFA, let's uh, draw the uh, transition table. Okay, instead of uh, 0 and 1 as input alphabet, let's take A and B here. So here, A is the start state and C is the final state. So A and B are the symbols. Now on A, with the A you move to B, with B also you move to B. On B, on symbol A you move to C state. On B with symbol B you should move to C state. C's transition on A and B is not defined. So we'll either let it be blank or I may write as pi also. So for making the DFA, uh, first write the input or the initial state that is A and see the transitions with A and B symbols. So it moves to B and B only. Uh, we are taking these values from the NFA transition table. So the new state that I got here is B. So on B with small a, I move to C and a small b also moves to C. So the new state is C. So I'll take, take up the transition from a state number C. So with state number C, the transitions are not defined in the NFA. So what I will say that it moves to the dead state. So let's say D is a dead state. And now the new state is dead, state D. And in the dead state with the A and the B symbol, you will move to the dead state itself. So this also you can take up uh, as the thumb rule that if the transitions are not defined, then you can take as one of the states at the dead state D. And from with the dead state on any of the input alphabet, you should remain at the dead state only. So let's draw the DFA for this. So A is the state. On getting a small a, you move to B. On B also, you should move to state number B. So now on B, if you get A and B symbol, you should move to the C state, which is the final state. And on getting a symbol A and B from C state, you move to a dead state D. And you should remain at the dead state only with the symbols A and B. Now, if I get a two length string, this will be accepted. And if you're getting a three or four or five length string, that will be rejected. Similarly, if you're getting a zero length string that will be rejected, you will remain at state A. With a one length string, you will move to state number B, which is also non-final states. So this will ensure that only two length string is accepted and any other length string, maybe zero or one or three or five or something like that, all those uh, length strings should be rejected by this automaton. So this is the simple conversion of the NFA to DFA. We'll take up more examples in the subsequent lectures. Thanks for watching.